It's the afternoon of Friday, April 19. I'm visiting in Brantford, Ontario. I am at the steps of what used to be uh, the Brantford Public Library. And when I was a little kid, I used to walk up those steps into these hollowed halls. Beautiful quarter sawn oak library tables and of course the sacred quietness back then of what a library was all about back when the world was still normal totally normal believe me so i am a couple days away from embarking on my seventh annual fantastic water fasting adventure I have Saturday and Sunday to still eat. And then Monday I began at least three weeks, most probably, unless I experience difficulties because I've always said, if it seems wrong, um, stop. Hunger is not pain. Anyway, hello, everybody, and welcome to Club Fred. I am your host, Fred D. Again, I'm at the steps now of the building uh, downtown Brantford, which is now part of the campus of Wilfrid Laurier University. Across the road from me is Victoria Park and the monument uh, tribute to Thyandanega, which is Chief Joseph Brandt, the namesake of the city. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that momentarily, but I just thought I would check in for a few moments just to set things up for what's going to happen this coming week. Um, so every single Monday and Tuesday of this year, I have already been fasting. That means I stopped eating Sunday evening sometime around dinner and began eating again on Wednesday mornings for breakfast. Technically, that's 48 hours, 48, 50. About 64 hours on average, I would think. I'm perfectly on track to begin my quest for another 15 pounds of weight loss, which I hope to lose and keep off for the rest of 2024. So my goal was to begin at around um, 229 pounds. And so far I'm hitting that pretty much every week at the end of my two-day water fast i'm right about there i'm not going to push it because if i'm not beginning um on my monday morning weigh in at that number i'll be there within two days uh the beginning is the end is the beginning or the end is the beginning is the end meaning some people have said, Fred, how do you prepare for an extended water fast? And the truth is, find a eating protocol, a way of eating that is sustainable for you for the long term. Something that you can do that satisfies, something that satiates your hunger, that you can do without white knuckling your way through with all kinds of self-discipline. I'm going to be talking more about my way of eating protocols as my fasting progresses and feel free to ask me any questions pretty shortly i'm going to do a little tour of the diandanega monument the tribute to chief joseph brand well let's hop off here for a minute hop down the steps of the carnegie library and look across the road at Victoria Park in Brantford. This is a square in the center of the city and now forms part of the campus of Wilfrid Laurier University. And we're looking in front of us at the Brant Monument. And I'm going to read to you what it says on the plaque right now. The Brant Monument recognizes the contributions of Thyandanaga, Joseph Brant and the Six Nations Confederacy in their dedicated service to the British Crown during the American Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. Designed by Percy Wood of London, England, the monument was erected with the help of generous contributions from the Six Nations, 
the Dominion of Canada, the Province of Ontario, the City of Brantford, the County of Brant, and other sponsors. The bronze reliefs and figures were cast from guns donated by the British Crown, many of which had seen service in the Battle of Waterloo. And at the base of the monument, the relief depicts a war dance, a council, a bear, and a wolf. Above, on the second level, the Six Nations, Mohawks, Oneidas, Cayugas, Onondagas, Senecas, and Tuscaroras, Six Nations, are each represented by a figure of a warrior. The statue of Joseph Brandt at the top surmounts the monument. Thyandanaga means two pieces of wood bound together. Joseph Brandt embodied the joining together of the traditional longhouse culture with the European culture. Brandt was a respected leader and negotiated the Haldeman Grant that led to the settlement of the Six Nations people in the Grand River Valley, which is where Brantford is. The monument was entrusted to the city of Brantford on October 13, 1886, and this plaque commemorates the rededication of the Brant Monument on September 16, 2000. My goals are very simple. First of all, this past year I lost uh, somewhere around 35 pounds and kept it off for a year. Found my way to a sustainable way of eating because maintenance is the key to all success. So if you ever want to do an extended water fast, first of all, find an, a way of eating that uh, satisfies your hungers, your cravings, your desires that um, satiates you and that helps you maintain your weight. So if you can find a way to eat that works for you um, and you've been doing that successfully, that's obviously the best way to uh, segue into an extended water fast. So for me, I'm not doing anything to prepare because I've been fasting for two days a week. Um, basically, just as a matter of course, pretty much my lifestyle now so my uh, beginning of my extended water fast will just begin like every normal Monday and Tuesday except I will just persist and I hope to lose another 15 pounds through that water fast so I'm going to get down to 215 but I expect to get down a little bit lower than that hopefully maybe 210 because I know once I refeed, I'm going to bounce a little bit. And then I just want to keep that number 215 at least once a week on my scale, either somewhere throughout my weekly fasts of Monday and Tuesday. All right. Nice to see you all. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel and on this seventh fantastic water fasting adventure. And as always, love yourself, stay safe, and be awesome. Without falling into um, pits of... Um, um, falling into um, losing your weight.